can you make your own brake pad retainer clips? Let's find out. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alf. So this video is all about uh, these little beauties uh, or blighters, uh, whichever way you look at it. They are brake pad retainer clips, and mine is uh, off this uh, uh, this Rihu or Riju uh, Marathon 125 project build, which I'm doing. Uh, I've got front and rear calipers, uh, but one of these spring clips is missing. So all of you out there, I'm sure, watching this video, will be thinking, "Well, Alf, just go and buy a new uh, retainer clip." Yes. I would, uh, if any were available. There are none available. I've looked high and low. I've gone to the manufacturer, would you believe? All the uh, outlets, the supplier outlets, nobody seems to have one of these or a couple. I'd buy a bag of them at, the, at this uh, this point. So I thought, why well, do I even need it? Well, I suppose you could get away with not having one of these in, but you'd have a bit of uh, rattle, I suppose. So there are definite benefits to having them in, of course. But also I thought, well, you know, what? I really do want one in there. Could I fashion one? Uh, could I make one? The problem is it's all spring loaded, right? Um, and it's of a particular shape to match the caliper as well. So what I did, I thought, do you know what? Let me go online and search hundreds and hundreds of uh, brake pad clips for motorcycle calipers and see if I could find one similar. And I did, almost. Uh, this is one that's a little bit similar. Right, what I plan to do is see if I can bend this into shape, snip a few bits off here, left, right and centre, to see if I can get it anywhere near that. And this is, I suppose, trying to make do when you just can't get parts or trying to make your own little parts. It's sometimes easier, or sometimes the best way, to try and get something that's almost right and then just fashion it snip bits off, grind bits off, just so it gets into the basic shape and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, then obviously, you know, you have your search continues as it were. Now my search of these will continue, of course they will, but I'm just seeing if there's gonna be a stopgap, if I can get this to work, fit it temporarily, and then when I do eventually find these, or the manufacturer comes back and says, yeah, we've got loads of these, um, and then I'll swap it out. But anyway, let me see if I can do something with this. Right, uh, after lots of jiggery-pokery there, as you uh, just saw, I've managed to fashion this a little bit to resemble the original retainer clip. Um, same kind of shape, might be slightly different spring uh, characteristics, so I'm going to have to watch that. But at least there's something there. It will clear the piston. It will allow the, the guide to move forwards and backwards with the brake pads uh, in situ as well. I think it might just work. I mean, if it doesn't, it doesn't. And what can I say? I'm, I'm always going to be on the lookout for the original clip. But this is something that maybe you could do and try yourself if you're ever in this situation like I am. And hopefully you never will be because I've got to say it's a right faff. 
Um, but say, if you're having this situation, you need to get some clips, uh, you know, like this, then try and find something that's almost similar and then maybe cut away at it and see how it goes. I mean, if you know of another way to make your own clips, please let us know in the comments below. Um, you know, if you're making them out of stiff wire or whatever it is, let us know. I mean, maybe nobody ever does this and quite rightly, I mean, just go and buy them, right? But if you can't get them, you know, what are you going to do? Um, and, you know, what about having them? Do you think you actually need them or not? Or can you get away with not having them? They're originally put for anti-rattle, really. So if you accept a bit of rattle, I mean, you know, does it really matter? Uh, I suppose. But anyway, look, that's open for debate. I say this is going to be a trail bike anyway. So do I really need them? Yeah, I, I, I prefer to have them in there than not. But it's worked. Let's just see when I actually put the complete calipers together with the pads in uh, if they work or not. We'll soon find out, won't we? Right, hope you found that useful, but an idea at least. Uh, give us some thought. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below about making your own, about alternatives to retainer clips or retainer springs. Let us know. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, like and share. Check out the website, revelatoralf.com. More videos coming on the project build soon. There's going to be a dedicated page uh, in the Riju uh, manufacturer's uh, page on the website as well. Uh, it's going to show all the videos and all the extra bits of info. I'm also going to put downloads there for all the manuals and all the extra info which I've uh, managed to get hold of. I'm going to put those all on there uh, for you to access if you want to. Uh, anyway, so this is just something uh, I thought I needed to do. I'm glad I've done it. Let's see if it works. If it doesn't, on to the next idea. Right. Catch you again. Ta-da.